Well, welcome everyone. We are glad you are here. It is a an incredibly snowy day outside, and um, I hope and pray you got therefore got to spend it inside. So uh, please do um, continue to be inside and uh, make plans that, from what I understand, make plans to be inside tomorrow as well. So we'll be here online, uh, both on YouTube and on Facebook. So we urge you to uh, participate in that. Um, and uh, we're thankful for your participation. If you are watching on YouTube, please do like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and get notifications of when we post content. Um, we're always posting content here at St. Peter's to welcome you home to the life in Christ. So please do join us for that. Um, as well, I'll be calling this up onto Facebook Live. If you have any intercessions, um, please know that we do check the com comments in YouTube as well as on Facebook. And we're happy to offer those on YouTube at the next service that's being offered. Um, and uh, on, on Facebook, we offer it at the end of the, at the, end of the office service when we have the opportunity. And the good news is we are exactly halfway from the, uh, the summer, the winter solstice, the spring equinox. So this is actually in the Celtic uh, world and spiritual of spirituality. It's the first day of spring. So enjoy. <laughs> it feels very spring like today. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, I was actually, I was actually in shop right the other day and I walked by, they had crocuses blooming. I thought to myself, someday the crocuses will, will bloom and it'll be, it'll be Easter again, mm. or it'll be spring again and we'll be able to rejoice and celebrate Easter, but not so much. So I'm going to go back to an old chestnut for us. I'm going to ask you guys what you're having for dinner, because usually this is the day where you get out the crock pot. So what are you guys having for dinner tonight? <laughs> I made, I made chicken broth uh, in crock pot today. <laughs> so you made chicken broth and you guys, Laura, what are you guys having? I made lentil soup in the Dutch oven. See, we all get out, we all get out those, those, those roasty things. So we smell that we fill the house with smells. I, Laura found an Ethiopian recipe that is a, um, it's chicken and lentils. Um, but it was, it was actually, it was during my midday zoom call as, cause I put everything together after, uh, my first meeting before my second one. Um, it was during my, during my zoom call that, uh, I was sitting here in my office and the kitchen is over there. And, uh, suddenly there wafted in to me, the, the, the foretaste of the smell of the, of, of the meal. And I don't know if you're fans of Ethiopian food, but it is incredibly savory. Um, with uh, onions and garlic and ginger and um, it's got Burberry spices which is this lovely sort of barbecue -y kind of smell mm. and uh, and paprika and I'm really looking forward to it so and also also Ethiopians because they're so heavily influenced by the Italians they cook with wine so mm. you know there's wine in it too there you go well, thank you everyone for being here. We uh, will offer our service and our witness in Christ. Give me a second here. To, I was actually editing the evening office and getting ready and I realized I left in the wrong spot, but there it is. Um, am I leading and you guys are reading? Yes. There you go. Laura, you got first, Allison, you have second. It's our standard old dance. We never get tired of it. We're glad you're here. Welcome to evening prayer at St. Peter's and welcome home. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I invite you to join in the invitatory in unison. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalms 64 and 65, I'll offer the odd, you guys will respond with the even. Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Preserve my life from the dread enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the scheming of evildoers. Who wet their tongues like swords, who aim bitter words like arrows. Shooting from ambush at the blameless, they shoot suddenly and without fear. They hold fast to their evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly. Thinking, thinking who can see us, who can search out our crimes. We have thought out a cunningly conceived plot. For the human heart and mind are deep, but God will shoot his arrow at them. They will be wounded suddenly. Because of their tongues, he will bring them to ruin. And all who see them will shake with horror. Then everyone will fear. They will tell what God has brought about and ponder what he has done. Let the righteous rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Let all the upright in heart glory. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall vows be performed. O you who answer prayer, to you all flesh shall come. When deeds of iniquity overwhelm us, you forgive our transgressions. Happy are those whom you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, your holy temple. By awesome deeds you answer us with deliverance, O God of our salvation. You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. By your strength you establish the mountains, you are girded with might. You silence the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples. So to live at earth's farthest bounds are awed by your signs. You make the gateways of the morning and the evening shout for joy. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide, you divide the people with grain, for so you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers, and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty, your wagon tracks overflow with richness. The pastures of the wilderness overflow, the hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows clothe themselves with flocks, the valleys deck themselves with grain, and shout and sing for joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith, our ancestors received approval. By faith, we understand that the worlds were prepared for the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain's. Through this, he received approval as righteous, God himself giving approval to his gifts. He died, but through his faith, he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken so that he did not experience death, and he was not found because God had taken him. For it was attested before he was taken away that he had pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. For whoever would approach him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah warned by God about events as yet unseen, respected the warning and built an ark to save his household. By this, he condemned the world and became an heir to the righteousness that is in accordance with faith. 
By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to set out for a place that he was to receive an, as an inheritance, and he set out not knowing where he was going. By faith, he stayed for a time in a land that he had been promised, as in a foreign land, living in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked forward to the city that, he, that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith, he received power of procreation, even though he was too old, and Sarah herself was barren, because he considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one person, and this one as good as dead, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven, and as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening, the Song of Mary. Together, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Mark. From there he set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and he did not, cut, did not want anyone to know he was there, yet he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman, as a Gentile of Syrophoenicia okay, origin, she begged him to cast a demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And he said to her, for saying that, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home and found the child lying on the bed and the demon gone. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon, Sidon, towards the Sea of Galilee, in the region of Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech, and they begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then he looked. Then, looking up to heaven, he sighed, and he said to him, Ifa fatha, that is, be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure, saying, He has done everything well even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well done. Our second canticle this evening, the Song of Simeon. Together, Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. Together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Guide us, guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among, among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope, the hope of the poor be taken, be taken away. away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us, us with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, and in our time, grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we, are, we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray with particular intention for all those who are exposed to the storm tonight. Pray for those who are seeking food and shelter, and may they find the security they need to last the night in comfort. We give thanks for all those who must venture out into this weather in order to keep us safe and to ensure that all of us are well cared for in our homes. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen.
Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, all, thank you so much for your time tonight. I bid you stay warm and dry, and may the peace of Christ be with you. So, God bless. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Take care. Bye-bye.